Like, fuck it, you know, dude? Yeah. Like, whatever, fuck man. Fuck my pussy. Oh, yeah, we got new stuff, I think. Maybe? It's going to take us forever to unlock all the good stuff. I don't think we have anything good. Yeah, I don't think so. I said for, like, abilities, but no, those are there. So, yeah, okay. Let me, let me check I mine. I think we got some, like, emotes, maybe. Let me check mine. No, we got some of them nom de gui. But I don't, I don't think we can use those. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to Lost Planet. Cheers. Squared. I know I mentioned it in a previous episode, but I, I caved and I bought the other two. So we should play those at some point also. Wait, are we live? Yeah. <sighs> Whoa, <All right>. dude. <clears throat> wow, dude. Oh. Reservoir Dogs, I love that movie. Oh, yeah. Some people don't like that movie. I like that movie. That's I like movie. it too. I have a bad, like memory of it from seeing the first time since that was uh the time when i went over and oh. fucking david uh david uh, bush oh david bush and uh casey wallenbach uh fucking made out and like sucked sucked his pee pee or something i don't know did that happen? Yeah, while well, I was watching Reservoir Dogs, I'm like, guys. I just saw that. I just saw him the other day. I saw him yesterday. He's fat now. Is he? I mean, he's, he's bigger than he was. Yeah. I wouldn't call him fat. Yeah, he's fat. Okay. As a fat man, I know. PH fat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't remember those. <laughs> I forgot that I changed my controls. My controls are all wonky. I, I gotta remember how to fucking do anything on like, this shit again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here shooting this <laughs> fucking spiky face. Yeah, dude. yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Here we go. I changed my control scheme around. It's not the classic, like, regular way that, you know, normally you do it. I changed it because I'm like, oh, this isn't 2020 anymore. It's not. It's not 2020. But I mean, like, like you know, I mean, I mean it in, like... It's got to be a 2020 control scheme. It can't be a uh, 2010 control scheme or whatever this game came out. Get away from me! Ew! Ew! Lady has a spiky face! Ooh. I think we skipped this part the first time we played this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we I'm did. I'm pretty sure we did, because I don't recall this at all. Not even a little bit do I remember this. <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys. He's coming right for me! I saved you. What is this, a shotgun over here? I think so. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. How do, I, how do I sprint? How do I do that? R2? I hold circle. No, mine's R2. Because oh. <laughs> I have it where, like, I think it's annoying, like, it was annoying, like, before, where, like, you know, you, the square <clears throat> button is, like, the grapple. And, like, yeah. I, I always thought it was annoying that, like, you know, I hate it when they would put a crucial function like that on the face buttons. Yeah. Because then you can't aim and then do it at the same time. So I change it so it's R2, or L2 rather, because then that way it's like you can aim and shoot it. Yeah. Like, even the fucking healing is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. It's like they ran out of buttons. I don't know why they... Like, on this, on the, my control scheme right yeah, now... Yeah, it's ass! On my control scheme right now, I don't think Circle does anything. Like, why not make that the heal button? Yeah. Fuck his ass, Taylor! I'm gonna try to shoot his arm off. I'm gonna turn paraplegic. There we go. <laughs> now he's sad. <laughs> yeah, now he just gave up. <laughs> he's just like, ah, oh, like, you got me, guys. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. But yeah, I was watching a video earlier today. I think you would have appreciated it. I guess there's like some, you know, like those battle simulator games that people get now. Yeah. There's one where uh, I don't know, it must be a newer game or something. Whatever the heck it is. And uh, they were pitting T-Rexes against Spinosauruses. Oh, God. And I want to get your opinion. Who do you, th who do you think would win in a, in a all in a, out... In real life? Like Slugfest, yeah. In real life, it would be the T-Rex. T-Rex, okay. Yeah, it would be obvious. Okay. The T-Rex has a much stronger, stronger bite. bite force. Yeah, yeah. While the Spinosaurus might be bigger than the T-Rex, it also ate fish. Oh. So... You know, its diet is completely different. Yeah, the, it was made for being, you know, both land and sea. So it's not, like, super strong on the land. So it's not even, like, a fair competition. At no, that point. it's not. Mm. 
If, we, if it was in the water, then it would probably be the spina that would win. Well, yeah, it's like having like a hippo go up against a rhino or yeah. something. But yeah, so T Rexes, definitely. T Rex won in the, in the battle simulator. I mean, that, it makes sense. Yeah. It said it's got a. Holy shit! <laughs> it said it's got a, a bite force of eight tons or something. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. Like, that's like a garbage truck. Like a compactor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. It, like, it could crush a car. Yeah. If it really wanted to. And it does. And it, it does. did. Because <laughs> you know what? There weren't any cars around then because they ate all of them. Yeah. Little That's known, why there weren't any cars. Little, yeah, little known fact. You know, just for more interesting facts like that, subscribe to Chin Strap <laughs> We're going to be like Vsauce. Michael here. Did you know that a T Rex could eat a fucking car? <laughs> <laughs> I just like the fucking. I know, that's why I did it. <laughs> That's the whole video. <laughs> like he doesn't. Thanks he, for watching. Yeah, he doesn't have anything <laughs> else. He's just. Thanks for watching. And then fucking like, out of frame. Yeah, out of frame. <laughs> uh, is he still doing shit? I haven't. I haven't seen Vsauce in a long time. Uh yeah, he still does videos every once in a while. You know, after that whole YouTube money. Did he have an issue with that? I don't even know. Like, I, I have no, no idea. Like, no, no, no. Like, like uh, because he had that show. What show? Mind... Mind Freak? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, did he have, like, a TV show or something? Yeah, but okay. YouTube one. Oh, like a YouTube Red or something? Yeah. I got it. What is this guy doing? <laughs> he's fucking... He is on some bath salts or something. And he's dead. <laughs> He had no idea he was even alive until we just killed him. <laughs> I keep zooming in and now because I'm used to clicking the stick to reload. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, um, yeah, he had mine play, I think. Oh, that sounds vaguely familiar. I don't think I ever watched yeah. it, but yeah. It's on YouTube for free. Oh. Because he, uh, he put them all out for free. Cool. Because he's a nice guy. And I've been watching them and they're real interesting. Uh, I like people who have integrity. Yeah. I like that. Like, people who just do what they want to do because they want to do it, not because they're getting paid to do it. Yeah. Like, he he did, like, the trolley problem, you know, of would you flip the switch if, uh... Yeah. You know, you could you, save it, more people versus saving one. Yeah. And, uh, most people fucking panicked and did nothing. And <laughs> be like, well, I didn't see anything. I mean, that's... It's true. People, you know... If you do, if if that problem happens, if you do nothing, there's at least plausible deniability that you, you know, yeah, you're not I didn't actually do anything. So you're not responsible for that one person's death. Yeah. <laughs> well, in that case, it would be four people's death. They would let the four people die uh, because if you switch, you bitch. Oh. if you switch, then. Uh, you know, that, then you'll actually uh, save a person's life but make a choice. Well, three people's lives but make a choice. But if you don't make a choice at all, four people will die. But you have that plausible deniability. Uh, well, what, most people would say they would flip that switch. Well, but most people if, don't. What if, <laughs> what if, like, authority and all that weren't an issue did the, is that like a variable that they just they take out of that equation uh basically what they did is they they had it set Ooh. up where um oh the dummy brain yeah cool they had two screens like an actual control thing like they were being shown how they like they were there for a commercial basically uh -huh. and they were being shown all of the little buttons and things and like this is how you switch the track by real conductor mm -hmm. like he was doing it for realsies oh they would stage it as like but they would have two uh, monitors up there and it would have a warning system and stuff like that and they would show him they would show them that be like hey i'll be back i'm gonna go take a piss real quick yeah he's like oh i gotta go do something and then the 
like because there is just video playing of right. four people on the track who are not going to hear the train because they're doing construction and uh one person on the track that's not paying attention because he's looking at his phone uh -huh. kind of thing and Big uh, boobies oh my god <laughs> big bowel movement more like <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, and, so it's uh, like yeah. so it's like a social experiment, I think. Yeah, and then uh, you know it will be like warning, warning, and most people will fucking sit there and just wait for for the train to hit these people because like it will come up and then it'll be and it'll shut everything sure. down and then they'll come out and they talk to them about how like oh my name's Chris Hansen. so why didn't you why didn't you hit the button most people s and then they would explain it and then if they wanted to why don't you take a seat Chris uh, Hansen. if they wanted to yeah, talk this is the boss that we skipped remember yeah I remember this dude oh, that's big old bitty Decimate the category G, not even defeat, just decimate him. Yeah, fuck his ass. <laughs> just lick his see sea his, ass. Do you see his ass? It needs to be fucked. <laughs> oh, I mean that. I, I, I what are the it. secondary arms for? Like just being all freaky deaky goopy? Yeah, pretty much. You bitch. Melissa and I watched that movie Insidious last night because it's the spooky season. Yeah. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, it's a good movie. It was it was a lot goofier than I remember. It being. Yes. Like I remember watching it when I was younger, and it's like, oh, this is kind of creepy. But like I watched it, we watched it last night, and I'm like, this is a lot goofier than I remember. Like just because it's like, like there's that obligatory scene where they have to give literally all the exposition at once. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, there's this demon, and there's this other realm, and there's these demons that want to steal your son, and. It's called the f no. bleh, and, and they're, they're gonna f and, and they're gonna fuck him, and they're gonna fuck him. But they can only fuck him if he's uh, there for longer. The longer he's there, the more easily his he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> And the easier his yeah, hole is. Easier his hole is to get into, and, and then it's like you were actually uh, also over there when you were a child. And, yeah, uh, d you know, and, like, and then they fucked you. And then they fucked you, and then at the end of the movie, you're going to be fucked. And then he's just like, "What? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> I, I am leaving." <laughs> hey, we saved two of our friends. Wow. <laughs> no. What's his name? Power Drifter and Sunday oh, three, yeah, yeah Sunday three thousand. That's my new. That's my new fucking <laughs> AOL name. What? That's my new AIM name. <laughs> Sunday three thousand. You want MSN? Can I hit you up on MSN? <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine still using MSN. I'm sure some people do. I think that might be my parents' homepage. Amazon. Yeah, I, I think it might be. Yeah, it's old. I'm going to. Well, oh, there's the a rock launcher down here. Do you should get that? Oh man, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of Bettys over here. Whoa, a gator. Whoa, You know that's a cover song. Yes. Do you know who did it originally? Uh, Ram Jam. Well, Ram Jam did the song, but that's a cover. Oh. Ram Jam's version is a cover. Oh, I did not know that part. Yeah. I just knew, like, because there was a bunch of other people who do them. I think it's originally by a blues musician named Lead Belly, I think. Whoa, Lead Belly. But it's like, when you would listen, if you listen to his version versus the Ram Jam version, it sounds nothing alike. Yeah. Like, the only thing that's the same, I think, is, like, the, the lyric. Like, the lyrical content is, like, is the same. So they basically Led Zeppelin did, is what I'm saying. Okay. Stole it and me. It me and Kit got in a spat the other day about like because he says that he basically listens to every kind of music, and I'm and you know how I feel about that. Yeah. Um, we got in a whole big old, not necessarily an argument, but I'm just like, look, I, like you listen to what you like, whatever. But like, there's You're not wrong. a sing, there's not a single person on this planet that listens to literally every kind of music and enjoys it all. I just don't think that that person exists. And he's like, no, it's me, dude. But then he's like, you know, but like I've got such a massive range. Like I like Led Zeppelin. I like 
uh, the Doors, uh, Bob Seger, and I'm like, dude, those are all rock bands. Like you yeah, just listed like five rock bands. Yeah, all <laughs> older rock bands. Yeah, I'm like, those are all in the same wheelhouse. Like you're not proving your point. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, uh, well, sometimes I fuck babies. So fuck you. <laughs> Was he the Lost Prophets guy? <laughs> I'd be like, I hope you're kidding. I hope I you're just... kidding. Oh, no, kidding, because he's yeah, fucking kids. Yeah, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's a double entendre. <laughs> My name is Double Entendre. My name is <clears throat> Shake Boy. The Rock. Ruler. No, the old schooler. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? Uh, I think they finished it, and then, like, you know... Aqua Teen? I love Aqua Teen. I'm not sure. Actually, they might be still doing it. I don't know. Who cares? I haven't seen or thought about Aqua Teen until just now. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them that spawn here at the end, I think. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> I had to tell that horrible story about the Lost Prophets guy at work because it somehow came up. And I'm like, yeah! He's in prison for, like... 40 years or something and he had a cell phone up his pooper cause he fucked babies yeah and I'm like he'd straight up fuck babies hey I mean when in Rome no <laughs> do, do they fuck babies in Rome is Rome like Jeffrey Epstein's island <laughs> no he just I don't even like slightly I, young children I was gonna say I don't even think he fucked babies he just yeah. <laughs> I think he I think he actually he was just a sex trade which I mean there's probably no, he was he young. Was like, no, he, well, I think he is mostly into like underage women. Bah! Either way, it ain't good. No, it's Baba, like the Baba Duke. Abba. If the uh, if you had a B on that last one, then. or ah. Uh, well, we're too good for bees, yeah. man. Except we got except bees. the first. Shut one. up! Shut up! <laughs> Next time on Chin Strap Chaps, we're gonna bees have nuts. Thank mm -hmm. you.